Hello and welcome to another review of a soft vinyl Kamen Rider set. I guess this will be Drive 2. Uh, we have here uh, Drive Type Formula versus um, Brain, Heart and uh, Dead Heat. This is, uh, I think this is Mark Dead Heat, yep. Proto Drive and Drive Type Fruit. Uh, Gaime Type uh, drive arms and dragon fruit energy arms. Come on, right out So just a quick look at it from the box right there. On the side shows you the other ones that you can get. Uh, the other side just general information and stuff. And on the back, it shows you uh, well, roughly the exact same exact size I think. Yep, the exact size of the figures inside so you know what to expect from these figures. I'm of course eventually going to change all of, use all of these to make little Lego figures but uh, oh, that type not yet. So, uh, well let's start with the Gaim stuff because you know Gaim is better than Drive. Hmm. So there is Gaim type uh, well, Drive arms. Uh, like I said, I'm taking the head for the Lego figure, but then uh, these arms things, I'll definitely have reason to keep them and I'll give them to the uh, little arm change uh, action arms uh, figures. So yeah, as always, uh, the molding on the soft final things are super awesome. Uh, these feel way thinner than what they used to. Uh, I think the last games ones were pretty thin as well, but these feel pretty thin. Uh, not that bad though, I like it when they're thin because it's easier to cut for the sake of me you're converting them, using them as parts, it's better, but um, overall, yeah, they are pretty thin. And of course, uh, these are still the same drive. Uh, this is probably the last time we see it in the drive, uh, Gaim's and mold. Let's put the legs anyway, same leg molds as previous. And um, it's pretty nice that they've molded uh, all these patterns in, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, these patterns are a bit bumped up than what they should be, I think. Articulation wise, if you haven't seen any videos before, these soft runner figures have uh, one, two, and three. That's it, and you can easily pop them out because they're very soft, hollow uh, figures. And easily pop them back in. So yeah, overall, uh, yeah, molding details as always. All of these figures are very excellent, so that right away. And but uh, the paint is usually absent from the back. Well, the front paint here is decent. We've got uh, the belt coloring: so dark silver, gold, light silver, bluish silver, red, and gold up there. So one, two, three. Four, five, six. We've got six colors on this figure, so that's that's definitely good. Six colors is quite a lot for one of these figures. Next, we have Dragon Fruit Energy Arms. Again, probably the last time we'll see. Uh, actually, we haven't seen this mold before because this uh, Dragon Energy is a bit different from all the other ones. Hmm. So we have a uh, one, two, three, four, five, five colors on this one. We've got silver, white, metallic. Light, light metallic, uh, sort of metallic orange, metallic red, and actually a gradient golden red there, which is pretty cool. Oh, also black paint, so we have six, so one, two, three, four, five, six colors on this figure. It's pretty good. It does, it does look a bit fat because of his, um, the uh, extra cape on the back, and uh, he, is a hard, he does feel harder because of the shape of the armor, but uh, yeah, overall a pretty decent looking figure. So, uh, well, let's take at the coolest, uh, well, actually no, let's, let's look at the next one before we look at the coolest drive figure. Okay, here, here we have a drive type fruit, which is just as silly as it looks. Um, no, no orange paint there on the bottom part, but that's fine, I guess. The fruit tire is half painted, of course. Uh, he has the, uh, so far he has red, silver, and orange, and a green dot there, so. One, two, three, four, four colors on him, no colors on the back. Uh, very, if you like the suit, this is very good detail on the back of this figure, with a lot of detailing lines on the, uh, the, you know, like the bottom of the car. However, this is a very interesting first. It's glued down, but the uh, orange head it's, is orange plastic. So I guess if you melt the glue there, you can sort of have an extra articulation. I can just rip it. I hear the glue snapping. Oh, never mind, it's glued way too tight. It'll rip before the glue rips, so uh, I'll cut it out eventually anyway. So, oh well, 
Uh, detail wise, yeah, it's just as silly as it looks, just a bit eh. That seems there, shift car there, molded in, a sort of type of food, sort of molded in. I'm gonna put them there because they're from the same movie. Okay, now the coolest figure from uh, let's see, from uh, from Drive, the coolest suit, which is Proto Drive before the, the tires got super weird. In fact, uh, this was more for seatbelt, I would like it a lot more than tires. Um, we've got uh, silver, dark silver, purple, red, so four colours, not too many colours, but it doesn't need it because uh, the moulding here is pretty awesome. Obviously, uh, his legs and arms will be the same mould as the standard drive other soft vinyl figures, and not that one, stamped ones. So the only one really is different is the uh, torso bit. It's a great way for them to save money, really. Very cool looking figure. Back details are still good. So. Hmm. It's a bit shorter than the others. Also, a guy needs to be way shorter than that because uh, he's, he's a lot shorter in the actual film and show. So, uh, next we'll go with uh, Type Dead Well, he'll be um, <clears throat> Dead Heat of uh, Mark, Mark of Dead Heat. There he is. Uh, just for comparison, here's normal Mark because they have the same, uh, actually, they don't have the same leg modes, it goes up a little bit. Uh, same right arm, but this one's not painted, this one has a bit of black paint there. On this one we have uh, one, two, three, four, four colours. This arm is also different because it falls to drive arms. So on the back there you don't... Yep. Pretty good detailing there. Drive tire. Mm. Just for another comparison, I haven't cut any of the drive figures yet. Here's uh, Dead Heat, Drive Dead Heat. You can see there they have the same legs and the same arms to save on money that way. That's why the belt is not cut down there, it's actually cut above here. Um, and you see this one actually has a Dead Heat logo printed there. So, this one's a well, decent representation of the figure anyway. Also the black plastic along with the white plastic does do a good job of cutting the suit up, so it's a bit less boring. Next we have drive type formula, stupid, stupid form. Um, still has the same articulation because the shoulder pads move with it, but this is a really dumb form. I'm sorry, in the show it's really dumb, but this figure is good in that it does rep represent the, sh the suit pretty well um, in figure form. But seriously, this is a really dumb figure, especially if he wants to use some of the bigger tires on his arms. And this whole chunk is way, it looks way bigger than it, it does in the show than here. Like this just pops up so far. Um, this actually looks way better than, the, than what it looks like in the show. Uh, this, Design-wise, there's a lot of details, uh, not, not too much details going on. We do have one, two, three, four, five colors going on. And uh, the details on the back are great, um, you know, as a representation. But the front here is a bit plain, um, just like a natural show, I guess. But the, yeah, the whole suit's a bit more blue than that. Finally, we have the two uh, rude moi, uh, uh, boy mutes. Oops, rude moi. Rude. <laughs> So we have uh, Brain who has no articulation whatsoever. He is two plastic molds, plastic bits mold together. But uh, in previous uh, soft vinyl figures, whenever you have like a like a creature with a big cape like that, the cape would move with the arm, and you know, so you have a whole weird big piece rotating. But not him. He's he's a statue. I mean, he's he's very hollow, so he'd be like. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's he can I guess I guess but like. Ew. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, yeah. It only has one silver color on the green plastic. I mean, it does look okay, but there's no movement here, so it kind of sucks. Finally, we have Hart, the main. I guess the main. Well, if you watch the show, you know he's not the main bad guy, I don't think, but he's the main sort of like the head general, I guess. He has gold, silver, metallic, orange. So one, two, three, three colors. Again, the molding's pretty good, but I'm pretty sure this Hart's a bit bigger than that in the show. Um, he does have articulation fine. Yeah, uh, a, a decent, again, a decent figure. So, there we go. So, there you have it. Uh, eight of these figures. Um, as always, soft final, you know what you, if you, if you have, if you have had any soft final figures, you know what to expect here. The quality has not gone down or gone up. Um, all the figures have really excellent molding detail 
and the paint jobs are well average. They they look like who they are. They just they have just enough paint detail to look like the suit and not look ridiculous, you know, or too cheap. Uh, these figures, of course, are pretty cheap. I still keep saying like if they introduce figures like this in the West, I think they'll do pretty well. Uh, these figures average cost about twenty bucks each, uh, so that that's like just under. Two. These figures would cost about two dollars fifty U.S. So these are these are definitely pretty good um, as a, as a set on its own. Uh, obviously, I don't like drive design and gimmicks, toy gimmick too much. But as a set, it's a pretty cool set because uh, I think the most important one are these three figures because um, they are movie figures and they're pretty cool. Now these four movie figures, uh, you do have two villains, which are sort of a rare thing for. Uh, figures in Japan, normally you only get the heroes, you don't get many, that many villains. And of course these figures are the same scale as the little tire Kokon figures, uh, little candy toy ones, so um, if you want villains for them to fight then this is the pack to get because the villains don't really have that many accessories anyway. So um, uh, I mean this one sucks because there's no articulation but uh, Heart has articulation so it can definitely go along with those fully articulated tire swapping minifigures. So apart from these two figures, everything else is moving and sort of a rare variety to have. So this is a pretty good set overall. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day.